transform building infrastructure and environments to transform business. WB's next installment of the energy video series. Today, we're going to go a little bit more into energy audits. You may have heard about this one in our Energy Star kickoff um, a video or two ago. For this one, we're going to go more into specifically ASHRAE energy audits. And we say ASHRAE energy audits because this is a standard and a guideline used in our industry, and it really sets a baseline and kind of a consistent method for all buildings to perform this audit. So you have useful numbers to compare yourself to. Today, we're gonna to be talking about level one, two, and three energy audits, and also the preliminary energy use analysis, the PEA. The PEA is something that you always have to do first before going into your ASHRAE energy audit levels. And that's because it provides you two key data points that will help you determine how much further you wanna go in these levels. The first data point is your energy cost index or ECI. And this gives you a dollar per floor area per year energy use and your energy utilization index EUI of a building, which is the your BTU per square foot of your building. And these are both really useful because of that per square foot number it gives you. It allows you to compare yourself to any other building around you that has performed an audit like this. Um, so now after that PEA, you go into your more detailed level one analysis. The level one analysis is sometimes also called the walkthrough analysis. Now, what this involves is a certified professional coming into your building and spending a few days surveying. Now, as part of the survey, he's going to be interviewing both the building managers, building engineers, and or anyone else that might be familiar with the building and its systems. Now, what he's looking to do during these surveys and interviews is one, gain an understanding of what the equipment is in the building, how it uses the energy in the building, and as part of that, seeing where there might be malfunctions or shortcomings within the systems. Now, any of these could lead to, loss, to higher energy use than would normally be seen. And hopefully as part of the walkthrough, these items can be identified and can be evaluated and turned into what are called energy conservation measures or ECMs. Now, these ECMs are it's going to be come out of the out of the level one audit as a list. Just usually for the level one audit, it's going to be more low cost, no cost items. So these are going to be simpler things such as swapping light bulbs or changing sequences of operations for some of the building's equipment. Now. Once that is done, they can evaluate this with you and you can decide based on the CCM list what steps you might want to take next. And if you do want to go farther, then that's where we can go into a level two audit. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, so for your level two audit, you're basically going to build off of everything that has been gathered from your, le your level one audit. The level two, you're going to go back and do another survey that's going to be more detailed you're going to look at each energy consuming item within your building and categorize them based on uh, their end usage, whether that's mechanical heating or, you know, domestic water for plumbing, water heaters, uh, lighting, um, you know, any example of, of any energy consuming equipment you're going to take a look at. You're going to look at the operation, the schedule um, of every single piece of equipment. From there, the energy professional is gonna go back. They're gonna take all that information and start to look at you know, the building as a whole and see what can be improved upon um, based on a, you know, an operation and maintenance perspective, as well as the equipment itself to determine if, if maybe your equipment's outdated and you know, the, it's no longer up to the current energy code and really should be replaced or something as simple as changing sequences of operations and adding controls to systems such as a morning warm up sequence, um, or maybe something as simple as like you're, you're starting your air handling unit too early in the day and people aren't even in the building. So you're, you're conditioning a space prior to the, to this, you know, building even being occupied. Um, so once those ECMs are determined, 
a formal level two audit report is generated and that is then brought to the building owner or whoever is you know the client that's looking uh, for these energy conservation measures and basically a you know a financial report is done where you can kind of compare the ecms and the cost analysis to determine uh, which upgrades make sense and then from there you know we can get even more detailed which leads us to a level three audit Right, and, and similar to a level two and a level a level two audit, a level three audit builds off of the foundation of the level one and two. So this is a continuation and not a lone step in the process of an energy audit. Um, at the level three phase, we're going to be looking at a very detailed analysis of some of the energy cost saving methods you have chosen from level two that are more capital intensive. So this might be replacing of a chiller plant, maybe changing a fuel type on a boiler, which causes you to get new boilers and just new flues and just really capital intensive that might take a longer time for the building to plan, save, and basically structure how they want to formalize the implementation of the strategy. So at a level three, you're gonna get more fuel data. You're gonna go out and get very detailed numbers. You're also going to start reaching out to vendors and get actual vendor pricing for products and materials that you think you need to um, to complete this capital intensive investment. So with this hard data, you can make real choices and plan for your energy cost saving methods. Um, and how ASHRAE phrases this is they do a comprehensive life cycle cost analysis, which includes the life cycle of the products that you're installing and the total cost savings. So you can see what maybe payback is and doing a full simulation of that process. So that takes us to the end of our ASHRAE Energy Audit video. Um, in summary, we hit the PEA or preliminary energy analysis, which is just a quick data gathering exercise to give you a couple key variables, which were the ECI and EUI to start your comparison process to similar buildings. Then you had your level one, which was a walkthrough analysis or a walkthrough survey. And that hit some of your low cost and no cost methods of saving energy. Then we went to our level two, which went further into detail and you started doing a full energy survey and analysis. So you came up with these EEMs or energy cost, energy efficiency measures to plan for ways to save in your building. And then you went into level three, which was a more rigorous and capital lens of looking at a, a project and how you can plan these out for large scale projects. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us on this video and we can't wait to see you on the next one. Yeah, so the level two audit. No. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this right. is fun.